Hey everybody, it's Mark Boyle here, the Prepper Guy, and uh, I'm going to put this in the front of uh, my next few podcasts that I might put out. Um, for years, almost eight years now, I've had uh, PrepperGuy.com, and I've done a podcast, you know, two, three hundred episodes. I've come to the conclusion that you can't move the needle as a, a, a normal American. You know, you got to be a social influencer, and you got to know all the games, and now learn how to do chat GPT and AI shit. I'm not going to do that. Um, during, you know, my study of what they did to Alex Jones, he was moving the needle. Whether you like him or not, he had 20, 30 million views per week, whatever. He was, he was moving the needle. They shut him down and destroyed him. Um, Joe Rogan they tried to destroy just because he had Dr. Malone on there. The guy that invented MRMI or MRNI or whatever the fuck it was, you know, these vaccines, and he took the vaccine. And then when he realized what they had done with it, he's like, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have took it. I shortened my life. They tried to screw Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson. Now, it's funny when I talk about these these social media people. And Tucker was social media, you know, Fox News, but he was he's still social media too. Um, people are like, well, I didn't like him anyway. I didn't like that. Alex Jones fucking nuts. Look at Trump, President of the United States. Look <laughs> what they did to him because he tried to drain the swamp. Did a shit job of it, but still. So my point is, you can work your whole life to become something. But if you become something they fear, which is what everybody would like to do in my position as far as a prepper and a patriot, would like to move the needle in a positive direction, you've become a threat to them. And the more close you get to that target, the more they're going to destroy you. And I just got other things to do. I really, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to say I don't care like I don't care, but I, I don't care. You know, we all have brain cells that are firing and we all have the ability to read the writing on the wall. And if you need somebody to explain it to you, like Alex Jones or Tucker Carlson or President Trump or whoever you respect that's kind of speaking out against this atrocity, if you need someone to do that for you, then I, then I guess you didn't learn critical thinking in your life. That's all the way I can look at it. So you have to be able to look at it and go, what the fuck is happening? And I think we all know. We all know. We watch a movie and go, oh, they're, they're going to hook up. Well, because it's pretty obvious. It's obvious because you watch a lot of movies and you can see the signs. So I'm just done with it. I mean, you know, that's why I haven't posted in a while. Because... As much as I've enjoyed building websites and doing that over these last eight years and podcasts, it's just extra money that I could spend on more tools. I love tools. Actually, I love buying tools more than I love saying I own a website or I work on a website. I do all this with my website. It's so fun to have this shit on my website that's cutting edge. I don't care anymore. I haven't for years. So... As much as I've said that I'm thinking about it and I'm probably going to do it, but I haven't done it, I am shutting down my, my podcast. And I'm going to cancel those accounts that take my money every month, you know, whether it's $20, $30 or, or $500. I'm shutting it all off. And I will go silently into that good night because it's not going to do any good. And... I have a hard enough time convincing my older children that they need to start being more aware of what's going on because they could be caught with their pants down and it's not good when you're talking about a world in collapse or disarray or chaos. So I've, I've kicked the idea around a lot and I'm on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again. The reality is I'm just done with it. I got a lot of fun things that I'm doing. 
and a lot of important things I, I need to do for me and my family. And because this has always been just a hobby, it's like giving up golf. I might like golf, but it's not bettering anyone's life. It was always for me. And, and hopefully I helped a few people. And, and, and over the eight years, I've gotten emails from people that said, thank you, I helped them. Very far and few between. I mean, less than 1%. So I'm going to give up. And I'm going to close all that shit. And I'm just going to walk away. That way when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to sit there and go, oh, I got to edit this. I need to do that. I got to do that. I got to make it to where people want to listen to me, <laughs> whatever. So this is probably my, uh, my farewell to the podcast and video world. I will keep my YouTube channel DIY Prepper Guy, where I will talk about tools and DIYing things because I still think that's important and it's fun if I think about turning on my camera. But if I don't, it's so what? So that's what I'm going to do. And then when I finally say something that piss off the God at YouTube or Google Gods, then that'll be shut off, but I won't care because that doesn't cost me any money. So if it's there or not, it doesn't really fucking matter. My point to all this is you guys need to get your priorities straight. Things are happening. Things are getting real. And if you're not a super duper influencer or if you feel your influence is not really influencing people, you need to turn your attention toward yourself and your family. And more importantly, yourself. And who you are and who you want to be. And how you want to live your life. You know, I've been talking to a guy on Facebook a little bit about religious subjects and stuff. And, and maybe I'll focus a little bit on that. You know, getting my word out. Hell, maybe I'll start a fucking church. But I doubt it. So anyway, that's what I'm doing and and I hope that over all the many years you know somebody that still listens to me goes yeah well thanks it's been real it's been fun but Mark honestly it wasn't real fun because you're just kind of a fucking nut but anyway you guys all take care find your center find your north find your Overton window make sure you get it turned to where it's pointing true north for you again and stop letting them move it around on you because we're being deceived and we're being lied to. And the great deceiver is kicking our asses, whoever that is. Not going biblical here. But uh, the world has been fucked up from day one when Cain killed Abel, and it's fucked up now, and I'm not going to change it. So I'll talk to you all later. Love you all. Really, I do. And I will keep the email, mark at prepperguy.com. So you can send me an email there. But other than that, you guys take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.